Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to Happy at Home. Today, I have a mini shopping haul to share with you. So I have been doing a little shopping um, while I was on my break from making videos and I thought I would just share with you real quickly some of the things that I picked up well all of the things that I picked up for myself I ended up doing a lot of shopping for the girls because there were really good sales on like clothes and that sort of thing um, but for myself I only picked up like home decor and homey things because that's what I'm totally into so I have something from Michaels a couple things from Target Bath and Body Works and one thing from Home Goods. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing I picked up was from Michaels and they're starting to put out, well when I was there they were just starting to put out like their spring stuff and they have a lot of really cool farmhouse stuff that I was really into but I didn't go crazy but I did pick up one thing and this is something that I thought would be really cool and it is this little sign right here. It's on a little wire hanger but I'll probably kind of tuck that behind it and I bought this to go on the bathroom door I thought it was so fun it's like enamel weird and very cool I love it so much I think it is so cool I should have brought bought two of them um, but I didn't wasn't thinking about it because it would have been cool to have one upstairs and one for downstairs but anyways I will most likely hang this on the bathroom door with um, command strips instead of using this little hanger that they have. It does have a spot on the back. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. But it does have a place to hang it like from nails or whatever too. But I just thought this was so adorable. I love that it was like enamelware and it was black and white. I thought that was so cool because I love black and white in my home at this time of year. So I'm in the transition of, of moving everything over to like my black and white winter decor and that is going to work perfectly. So the next store I went to was Target. I've actually been to Target quite a few times in the last two weeks. I think I, I don't know why, but it just seemed like I was there like almost every other day. And I only ended up picking up like two things for myself. Well, I should say three things. I tried to buy a shirt, like a shirt that's made out of like the jean material, but I got it home and tried it on and I didn't like it. So I'm going to be, be returning that. And it wasn't on sale or anything. I just thought it would be a nice, like, staple item to add to my wardrobe. But I just didn't like the way it fit. So I'm going to take it back. So anyways, I did end up picking up two things from Target on two different occasions. And the first one is not very exciting, but it is a brand new water bottle. I have to guard my water bottles like crazy in my house because my kids will take them and then they'll put stuff in it like juice and stuff like that and I don't know about you but once something other than water has been put into a water bottle it's never the same it has like this weird taste so I bought myself a brand new water bottle and I'm loving this because it's from Rubbermaid um, it's leak proof and stain and odor resistant it says it was under ten dollars I'm pretty sure it's got this nice big handle on the back but what I really loved about this is that it seems to me like this will be perfect to go into my purse because I always leave the house with some sort of drink with me always um, and this I think will be perfect because the top of it is actually screws on and then it flips open and you got a nice big opening to drink out of. So I'm thinking that this will be spill proof in my purse. So I am hoping that that is the case and I'm very excited about this. So I will be guarding this sucker with my life. It is now my water bottle and nobody else can use it. <laughs> I'm so selfish. Anyways, but I was very excited about that because I've been looking for one. Like, I have a really short one, and it's not quite enough. Like, especially when I'm really thirsty, it's never enough. So a bigger one is is what I've been looking for. And I finally found one. Water bottles are expensive. I do not know why water bottles have to be so expensive. But this was a good price, and I like the color, and I liked that it looks like it's going to be, you know, 
I'm not making a big mess in my purse. So that'll be awesome. So very excited about that. The next thing I picked up was something from Threshold. And I have been eyeing this sucker up all winter long once I, since I put out their Christmas decor. But I think it was originally like $20. I can't remember. I don't have the price tag on it anymore because I've been using it, of course. Um, but it is this little candle holder right here. It holds four candles. It's, uh, once again, enamel wear, but this time it's got the red on it, which is lovely. I love the red and the black as well, and I have quite a collection of red and black enamel wear. So I thought this would add to it very nicely, and it's like a little candle holder. I just think it is so adorable. So I did find this after Christmas, and it was on sale. I think it was only 50% off. So I think it ended up only being like $10. But I was so happy that they still had them. I was so excited about that. So I was so happy about that. I was that was what I went running to Target for um, after when I, the first chance I got because I wanted to see if they still had it, and they did. And I was so excited. And I have been using it like every morning. I would have candles in it, and I light them while Zoe's getting ready in the morning, or I'm up in the morning, or it's dark out. I have the candles going in them all the time so I love that all right so the next place that I went to was Bath and Body Works and I don't go there very often but I actually went there twice <laughs> the first time I was out running some errands and I was like you know Bath and Body Works normally has a sale this time of year so on the off chance that they still had the sale going on I stopped in and they did have the sale going on and then the second time I went um, Zoe was going to go to a birthday party and she wanted to buy a candle for her friend because that was one of the things her can her friend had asked for. So I'm like, you know what, let's go to Bath and Body Works because they have theirs on sale right now. So that's what we did. And then of course I had to pick up a few things for myself as well. I ended up only buying two candles though, but mostly what I went for was to stock up on their hand soaps. I love their hand soaps, just nothing compares to them, they last for such a long time and they smell amazing so I'm just gonna go real quickly through what I have picked up the first time and then I'll quickly share with you what I picked up for myself the second time I went um, well the first time I went Emily was with me and the second time I went Zoe was with me and Emily picked out two little pod things or air fresh wall senses I don't know what they're called those wall warmer things um, she, so she picked up a plug and then two of the pods, which were on sale, I think they ended up only being like, I don't know, like three or four dollars. So she picked up two of them, and both in the same scent, which is black teak wood. And this, I did not think I was going to like, but it smells good. So she's got her little thing in her room and the other one, so I'm holding on to this one for her so she doesn't lose it, because she's afraid she's going to lose it. <laughs> I also love their body washes, so I picked up two of them for myself. They didn't have a whole lot of selection while I was there that I really liked. And these things, I know for a fact, last forever. Last year I bought two of them, and they lasted me almost like three months each. Because you don't need a lot of this. They foam up so nicely. I just love them so much. So every year I get myself a couple of these and they last most of the year for me. So this year I picked up the flavor champagne, apple, and honey. This smells so yummy. Um, I love apple, the smell of apples. So, and this has got, what does it say? Pink lady apples, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, and autumn woods. It's just so, so pretty smelling. So I picked two up of those. Alright, so then I also picked up five um, of the pump foaming soaps that they have. Um, the first one I picked up was Jamaican Pineapple Peanut or Colada. Pineapple Colada. Oh, this smells so yummy. I only picked up one of these though. Um, and I think these were on sale for like $4, like $3.98 or something like that. All of their hand soaps were. So I was like, stocking up, yeah. And then I picked up two of their strawberry vanilla sugar. Oh, these are amazing. If you love the smell of strawberries, these are so yummy. 
And then I saw another scent, which I is like my favorite candle scent of all time, and that is the Watermelon Lemonade. I love this scent so much, so I picked up two of those as well. And speaking of Watermelon Lemonade, the one candle that I picked up was the Watermelon Lemonade. This is my favorite candle of all time, all time, from Bath & Body Works. I love it so, so, so much. Um, it's definitely a summer scent, um, but it's not too sweet and overpowering, so that is very helpful. <laughs> Alright, so then the very last thing that I picked up was something for Zoe, and it is um, one of their fine fragrance mists. And this one is in the flavor Vanilla Bean Noel. Because she loves the smell of um, vanilla. So I picked this up for her. And she seems to like it. I mean, it was one of their Christmas scents. Um, so yeah. If she ended up not liking it, I like it. So I will probably use it as well. So that was what I picked up the very first time we went to... Or I went to... Um, Bath and Body Works. The second time we went to Bath and Body Works, um, we picked up some more goodies. Let me dig them out here. This time we picked up two candles. Because they were on, well, I don't know why I picked up two candles this time. Oh, one for me and one for Zoe. And then obviously one for her friend as well. But, so the first candle we picked up was for Zoe and it is the Fresh Balsam because she loves this scent as well. I don't know, I'm not crazy about this myself. I know a lot of people love this scent, but I'm not a really big fan. I'm wondering if it smells different once you get it burning than it does in the can because, yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan, but that's all right. She liked the scent of it, so we got that one. The other one that we picked up for her well, for us to share because we like to burn candles right away in the morning when we're getting ready um, in the kitchen. So the next one we picked up to get is the Blueberry Sugar. This thing smells so good. It smells like blueberries. And like, I don't know what else it smells like, but let me see if it says on the back. Sweet blueberries, brown sugar, and graham cracker crust. That's the sweetness I'm smelling. Yeah, oh, this smells so good. It smells like a blueberry pie, and I love blueberry pie. So this is so yummy. I can't wait till we get to burn this one, but I just started burning my other Christmas one that I bought at the beginning of Jan December, which is like a cinnamon clove one, and I love that too. So that, the blueberries got to wait. But I think this will be a nice scent all winter long. So yeah. So then, let's see what else I did pick up. I bought a body gel for Zoe. I think I bought her two of these. And this is the strawberry and vanilla. Um, it goes with, this is the same as I got before. No, I got the apple for me. And she loves the strawberry scent. So we picked up the strawberry but vanilla for her. And then we picked up another hand soap and this is in the Twisted Peppermint. This is another favorite scent of mine, but it can get in a candle. I can't, I used to love their candles in this scent, but I found that it gets too sweet smelling, but after a while when you're burning the candle, so I can't get the candle anymore. So, but we can still use the soap. So that is cool. So I found that and I also picked up another hand soap. We're going to have hand soap for the rest of our lives just from this haul. Um, a cranberry peach one. This one I had never smelled before and I love it. I wish I would have got the body spray in this because it smells so amazing and so lovely. Um, it's very subtle peach, but I love it. I don't know. I just love the fruit scents. I don't know why. It's just kind of what we're, my sis, or Zoe and I are both drawn to that. So that works out nicely. <laughs> um, and then I did get another um, body spray for Zoe and this one is in Wild Strawberry Leaf. This thing is amazing. They only had one of them or I would have bought one for myself as well but oh it's just so yummy. So yummy. Very light scented. Not like musky or anything like that and which is what I really like. I like simple clean fresh scents. Nothing like 
musky or anything like that. So this is perfect. So that's all that I picked up the second time I went to Bath & Body Works. <laughs> All right, so the very last thing I have to share with you is something that I picked up from Home Goods, and it's something that I've been wanting to pick up for quite a long time, and something that I really needed to replace, and that is a new coverlet or comforter for my bed. Um, the one I have now, it's a coverlet, and I have had for over 15 years, and it's starting to look really shabby and like really pilly, plus the fact that it's got like three pretty good sized holes that were chewed in it from back when we had Shelby baby. So that was her thing. She loved chewing on blankets. So <laughs> we have quite a few <laughs> blankets and quilts around the house that have little holes in them and that's from Shelby baby. So I wanted to get a new comfort and I was way overdue. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and just picked one out and brought it home with me. And I've had it home with me for a week now and I haven't got it out of the bag yet because I wanted to clean, I wanted to decorate my room before I put it on the bed, but I don't know if I can wait much longer. Um, but here it is. It is this right here. Hey, stop now. Ugh, dogs are attacking me. It is by Ralph Lauren. It's a down alternative kind of comforter, 300 thread couch. I don't know. It's machine washable, which I love. And it does fit, it says it fits into the Ralph Lauren duvet covers. And I don't know what this means down here, but it says bronze comfort. But anyways, I don't know. I don't know what all that means. This one was $79.89 and it's a king size. So I thought that was a pretty good price. I knew I wanted a down alternative one because I did not want a down one. I wanted something that was able to be washed. So this was a good option and this one I love because it actually has like a pinstripe in it. You're not going to be able to see it I'm sure but it has like a little pinstripe on it and I really like that. It reminds me of ticking stripe but it's just white on white and then of course it's um, sewn into like the little squares if that makes sense. I don't know. It's just a comforter like a basic comforter that has like the squares but it's got a little texture because it has the stripes on it. So I thought this was perfect and I can't wait to get it out and get it on the bed. So yeah, I just thought that was really cool. And I love these kind of things like when you go to the hotels, there's a certain hotel I went to, oh when we went to um, the hotel in Duluth, they had this type of comforter on the bed and I loved it so much. So I'm not sure that I'm going to even put a duvet on it right away. I'm just going to use it the way it is. I don't even know if that's the right way to do it. I don't know because I've never had one of these before. I feel very fancy having one of these. Um, but let me know if any of you know for sure. Like you can use these without a duvet, right? I'm going to. <laughs> but I figure I could probably make some really cool duvet covers with some vintage sheets or something like that. So that's kind of my plan the end game but this will definitely be just for winter time I don't know that I'll keep it on for the summer but I love it I think that is so cool that I finally went ahead and got one so yeah I'm very excited about that all right so I hope you enjoyed today's video I know it turned out a little long because I felt like I was being very chatty but hopefully that was okay with you <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. And I will see you again in my next video. Bye.